Today, the prosecutor did not say if they are still in custody. I've been poring over the prob probable cause documents to find out exactly what led up to this shooting. Turns out Mays and Miller are strangers to each other. And according to police watching surveillance video, it all starts with Mays. Now, Mays claims a group of people told him, quote, I'm going to get you. And to him, that meant I'm going to kill you. So according to the probable cause documents, Mays starts to approach the individuals in an aggressive manner. After that, Lindell Mays circles behind a person and pulls out a handgun with his right hand and points it at one of the individuals. Now at that point, no one else had pulled out a gun. Mays was shot, but later admitted to police while recovering in the hospital that he fired first, saying, quote, stupid man, just pulled a gun out and started shooting. I shouldn't have done that, just being stupid. As for Miller, it's not clear if he was with either group, but the documents say he watched the argument unfold, then started shooting after Mays. Documents also say Miller appears to trip over a cone while still shooting. Later, a ballistic report found the bullet from Miller's gun is the one that struck Lisa Lopez, leading to her death. Now, this isn't the first time Lindell Mays has gotten into trouble with a gun. KCTV5's Betsy Webster spoke with his uncle today, now joins us from the Jackson County Courthouse. Betsy, what have you learned? What has he told you? Yeah, well, first, Missouri court records show that Mays had just completed probation earlier this month for an altercation in Belton. That was a municipal charge. Tonight, his uncle and expressed his dismay about what he referred to as, quote, what's wrong with these youngsters nowadays. Mesa's uncle is upset. In his words, the gunfire was, quote, uncalled for on both sides. Less than two weeks before this, Mays was released from probation, stemming from an incident that his uncle said involved a gun. Two years earlier, Mays was placed on probation after pleading guilty to a municipal charge of disorderly conduct in Belton. Mays' uncle says Mays pulled a gun outside the city's community center. He completed the probation on February 2nd of this year. Mays's uncle remarked that in 2020, a family member was murdered in a triple shooting that started as an argument, in his uncle's words, over a girl. Another man was also killed and a woman critically wounded. Mays's uncle speculated that Mays may have been jumpy because of that. Still, he added, it's no justification for what Mays is accused of doing here. Mays was at the rally with his sister, his uncle said, and invited him to join. He declined and now wonders if he could have prevented it if he'd been there. I also visited with 18-year-old Dominic Miller's grandfather. He politely declined to talk about him, saying that he did not want to do anything to jeopardize the case. Live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News.